my name is Zila Beck and you right by from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. And it is that time of month again. Uh, uh, that's really not the best connotation. But that time I'm thinking Doctor Who magazine is out. Uh, uh, mostly Doctor Who, the TV show. I watch it so you don't have to. Uh, uh, I read it so you don't have to. Actually, I don't even do that. Really? I, so, somebody told me on my last review of, what was it, I, I, issue 571, right? They, they're like, oh, I was tempted to get that, but I didn't want the, uh, Azure cover. I, I can get, I can kind of hear that. Honestly. It's a month gone by. I haven't read it because there's nothing in there that, that that's that interesting. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I'm sure they're hoping that the uh, Doctor Who Flux uh, uh, was somewhat helpful, right? <laughs> somewhat helpful. I don't know. Um, probably not. Probably. I mean, in the long term, almost, you know, almost certainly not. Probably not it would, uh, would be my guess. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm reviewing the issue. Okay. Think of this as a virtual uh, a wander into the news agents and uh, um, thumb through a copy to say if, if, if you want to buy, uh, buy it. Which reminds me of Doctor Who Flux. You know, they introduced that, that really stupid thing in, what was it, the last episode? The one from last episode? Where uh, uh, Sontarans are really into sweets, right? Really into candy. And they've invaded all the corner shops. There are only corner shops in England, mate. Okay? I mean, I, 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 you know, it was supposed to be a worldwide invasion, not the uh, 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 invasion of, I don't know, Reading. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it seems less frightening when you put it that way. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. That is always very, very helpful. Uh, uh, probably what you think is, oh, this is pants. <laughs> That's the thing. Do people say it still say pants? I remember. I didn't understand it when it, when people started using it. I don't understand it now. Listen, I'm an old man. What do you want out of me? Fine. Let's have a look at this uh, this issue of Doctor Who magazine. Okay, so first thing they go, oh, thank God. We can get Jody and any connection to Jody off the cover. They did well last month with uh, putting Storm and Azure and uh, was it Dog Boy Carvinista on? Because uh, um, I, I I'd love to see the data. This is my uh, theory. I just think she is uh, uh, very bad for sales, right? Very bad for sales. But this is a nice cover, right? It's it's got that nice nostalgic vibe going. It seems to reach across. Um, all areas of fandom, which which I like, you know, I like, you know, listen, I I, I don't want to be um, exclusionary, like like a bunch of these newer fans have been. They're like they they just can't deal with anybody who doesn't agree with them on everything always. And if you don't agree, you're evil, right? But yeah, there are a bunch of people who have seen this and moved been moved by it and like it. I, and we 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 seen here like lot the. Uh, the letters and the artwork. I, I, I mean, I think they skew it very much in their favor. I think there's a lot less people liking it. But I like, you know, I don't want to, uh, 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 you know, I don't think they should put on the front card the current era crap, you know, uh, uh, even though, you know, fandom does think the current era is crap. Really what they should be doing. I mean, I, if they want to make this a saleable magazine is appeal to all sides. And I understand you that, you know, the a lot of the Jodie Whittaker fans uh, uh, are, uh, are just can't deal. They, it's I, I call it progressive liberal. Uh, what is it? Fragility, right? They cannot deal with somebody not liking it. But I don't know. Maybe we should have this debate in these pages, and that would make it a worthwhile magazine to buy, right? That'll make it really interesting. And because you know, it used to be. People didn't like some Doctor Who, and some people did, and you can slag it off, and, and it'd be fine. The real problem is the reason you can't you can't like criticize this era of Doctor Who because it really is awful. Everybody knows it's awful, right? And that's why it, it triggers people, right? It, it it does. It really does. Anyway, that being said, nice cover, nice cover. Uh, and then we're inside. Oh, but jo Jody with a little worried. Uh, um, uh, uh, wrinkle. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that that that's Jodie doing acting, and I think they're doing a fact of fiction of the the husbands of River Song, just uh, uh, uh to show. Oh look, Doctor Who was crap before. Not as crap as this. Not as crap as this. Um, okay, another question. I'm so I'm looking at this storm. Storm is he the same guy? Because he looks like a different guy altogether. I don't bloody know. I don't, honestly. I, the only reason I'm putting some of my brain power into it is because I make videos about it. Well, who's the third person? You've got Emily Cook, uh, Paul Kirkley, and Peter Ware. Paul Kirkley is quite a good writer, I think. 
The final countdown. Not final enough, mate. Not final enough. No, uh, uh, no production notes now. You won't do that. So this is interesting. Uh, um, they're going full on season seven, but what they're really doing is going full on old school fan, right? They are. Uh, uh, this Nicholas Briggs uh, writing it. I think there's going to be very little uh, agendarizing, which uh, Big Finish has moved away from this year. I think last year was terrible. But this year, uh, uh, they they uh, moved away from it, and they yeah, got the audio books uh, doing quite well. Oh, of of how uh, how of Cummings and Howard. Um, okay. Um, was it Howard Cummings? The guy who used to do the uh, uh, the VHS covers. That was quite nice. Uh, animated uh, Abominable Snowman. Yay! But then he says Gary Russell doing it, and look, you don't have a great track record, mate. You just don't. That's just the the, the reality of it. So here, this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, um, yeah, look, this is clearly a kid. Clearly likes this Doctor Who. Clear, and yeah, I love people using their talent, right, to express their love of it. And over here as well. So I don't want to be a dick. I mean, and again, Flux has been the best of the Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who. Um, not this much, but, but really, I like the freaking dog, and this looks stupid. Oh, wait, no, it's a model. Uh, uh, 1.6 fully posable uh, canvas designed by Millie McKenzie. Oh, are you okay? I used her for one of the thumbnails. Or one, uh, uh, she does the, the, these models, I used her for a uh, thumbnail. She's like, What are you doing? I didn't give you permission, which is fair, which is fair. Um, <laughs> but that's that's pretty nice, I have to say. Again, I like people expressing their creativity. But then we see uh, uh, everything on YouTube. Uh, I I notice they never mention my channel, right? But guys, you should you should so uh, write in. <laughs> you should so write in. Uh, uh, let's do a, a mass writing campaign. That would be freaking hilarious. There's zero chance. Like zero, zero, zero. No, Dr Dr Rod, it's going to be on there before me. Uh, uh, but okay. <laughs> I'm listening to this right now. I am. Uh, uh, the first story was okay. The second story was painful. Right? It took me days to get through. I'm on the Cyberman one right now. I stopped making I stopped. Um, stop uh, listening to record this video. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, time and space um, visualizer. Uh, uh, David Bradley is on stage and Simon Cowell is a claim uh, Christmas Carol while Mark Gatter is on, on stage with uh, Simon Cowell. <laughs> no, he's in the uh, in Incredible Mr. Blunden, I believe. Uh, no, he's in Panto, though. There's, a, there's a, uh, uh, a stage version of The Ocean at the End of the Lane. That's a great book. A Neil Gaiman book. Wow. Uh, this month's an 18th. It was on in December? Really? Uh, 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 that. That looks like one looks like Trial of the Time Lord. Like this looks like Trial of the Time Lord. Yeah, he's wearing the troll vest. But this looks like uh well this is definitely uh, uh not remembrance. Revelation of the Daleks, maybe. And also the Pied Piper. Wow, that was uh, an important thing. Public image. I, I I really got to do a video on this as they try and spin these ratings to be anything other than disastrous. Uh uh the first uh, the figures were the first two episodes. So the first two episodes you were it, you were doing awful, <laughs> and then it then it got bad. You had a bit of a uh, um, uh, a rally for the the angels, but that's really it, really. Um, after the events of Flux, uh, the news they spe special is a heartfelt tale of a girl standing in front of a boy and a squad of Daleks. Okay, fine, fair enough. I may uh, probably going to go over this on a live stream. I'm recording this on Thursday, right? I'm probably going out Friday. Probably going over this on the live stream, on uh, my live stream on Thursday night, which will be on my channel. Go check it out. Um, but okay, so uh, fine. Uh, Good man goes to war. Okay, J uh, uh, Jamie Magnastone is the uh, um, MVP. It, it, it did the best job in this season. Absolutely no question whatsoever. Like, really. It, it, he made those three episodes much better than their scripts were. Uh, uh, so, you know, well done to you. Um, okay, I don't know why he's putting his hands up when seeing a weeping angel, but okay. But uh, he, honestly, I really liked it. I really liked his direction. It was full of energy. Uh, and bring on. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as is Salim, not so much. <laughs> not so much. The three turgid episodes are this completely unqualified guy who was given a big break to make Chris Chibnall feel good about himself. It's not going to make his stuff any worse. Oh my God, look at this. I mean, like, really? 
it, 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 that's Magic Girl acting, everybody. Actoring. Um, okay. God, these, uh, and these, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Whatever they, these things are bloody cool. What they do? again? Uh, thumbnails. I call them thumbnails. Uh, the, 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 this just not very good, is it? <laughs> it's just not very good. Um, fine. I'm sure she's, I'm sure, uh, uh um, uh, Dr. Ruth is, will be coming back at some point. Uh, collectivity. I find this a bit of a stupid art, a stupid ongoing feature. It's like a space filler. Uh, not really that impressive, but collectivity. Christmas presents. I could be freaking anything, right? Anything. Do I see anything that I even vaguely recognize? Uh, oh, oh, really? Why didn't they show the uh, uh, 2021 uh, 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 annual? Oh, is that because the, there's no doctor on it? Well, <laughs> first time for everything, isn't it? Uh, wonder why that was. Man, I always thought this figure looked much more like Starsky out of Starsky and Hutch, right? Although I have this, uh, and I, I got extra walls I put behind it. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, man. Daddy, one of the few things I miss about, about being uh, uh, not religious, right? Not um, uh, Jewish religious, is a Christmas tree. We had a Christmas tree every, every year growing up. Freaking loved it, okay? I, I I love the Christmas tree, right? I, I think it's just nice. I like Christmas. <laughs> like why 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 wouldn't anyone like Christmas? That's um yeah that, that okay. So uh, well before I left England, which was uh, uh in the early nineties, we had a Christmas tradition where we would go to the pub on Christmas Day in the afternoon wearing whatever stupid thing <laughs> your granny got you. Uh, I would be wearing that obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got one of these. What it's like one of this. This is slightly less stupid than the Dalek voice changer, which the only time I ever see one look vaguely not stupid was in Nerd Erotics back of his back of his office, right back of his uh, wherever he is, um, his studio, spare room. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Uh, still good cover. Back in time, series thirteen star. Annabelle Sholey tells Paul Kirkley about being possessed. Yeah, but we didn't find out anything about this woman, I mean, this character, right? I mean, not a thing. Um, okay, uh, this seems like a longer... Three pages on... Well, it's essentially a pointless role. I mean, she was in a few episodes. Oh! Okay, okay not character options. Uh, 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 who was this? Uh, uh, I used to... I, I, I was subscribed to these figures until... Uh, uh, um, we think, oh, maybe I'll get this one. Because... Uh, uh, that's how I got all the doctors. The only ones I didn't get was Colin Baker and Pat. I'm looking over them now. Colin Baker and Patrick Troughton. But like this, Perry looks pretty awesome. This, this might be, this might be uh, 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 a little present I get myself. Hero collector, right? Uh, Box of delights. What is this? <laughs> when BBC, when Doctor Who fan Adam Gilbert wrote the CBBC designers and asked if they could build his own TARDIS, he had no idea what to say. Paul Cartley joined Adam. And the Degeneres uh, crew from Marco Adventure. Well, this is very cool. This is what is this like uh, a, a CBB show? It's what I call it children's show. <laughs> that, that's that's what that's what's called when I was a kid. Man, this is a lot of pages for this article. This is so filler. You got one, two, three, four, five. Bloody hell! It's still going. Five, five page. This is such a filler. Five pages. It's a one-page article. Right. Oh, good news. It's available January 24th uh, uh, for anybody uh, uh, who has too much money. Uh, Caribbean Colors, Mongolian Armor, Mushrooms, uh, Fiery Mungler, Harry Mungler and Harry Styles, Push, uh, uh, Styles, Pussy Bow were just a few fashion inspirations for Flux. Costume designer, uh, Raven talks to Emily Cook. Um, I think costume really doesn't really interest me, although I do like... I wish we knew more about this freaking swarm. I mean, look, it's a very interesting costume he's got. Why is he dressed like that? Right? I mean, what well, it, it it seems he's very ornate. You know, he's like uh 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 and I do I like it. the design the design is all good, right? The design is all pretty good. I would actually might might read that. It might might actually explain some of the things about this in this, this story that I, that I uh uh that didn't make sense. Yeah, look, I'm intrigued with all the embroidery. The thing is, they did a beautiful job. This was so lame. Let's do Doctor Who, but different. Oh, maybe we'll do her coat dark. 
This is, is this your dark doctor thing you're doing? Yeah, okay, that's not not awfully impressive. Like the dog boy, okay? It's like the dog boy, and I know it's just me, but I like the dog boy. I like dogs. <laughs> I do, I do. I like dogs. Um, this the comic strip is back. I, I guess what they're trying to do is eke out enough pages so they can do another collection with Jody. Um, good luck with that. Uh, I would rank on this, but it's drawn by by Russ Leach, who is a friend of the channel. Like like Russ Leach, go and check out his uh, his Indiegogo. Oh, was it? Only God can only not only God can save us. That's what I believe. Only death can save us. Okay, you know they're, they're similar but similar beliefs. Uh, so three, four, five. It's a six pager, right? Six. Uh, I might try and read this. I might try and read this. Who's writing it? Uh, it's only six pages. Jacqueline Rayner. Ah, uh, okay, fine. She can probably do a better uh, Jody than uh, 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 not Capaldi. <laughs> better Jody than Chibnall. Again, not a high bar, mate. Not a high bar. A uh, husband's reader song. Fact of fiction. Again, I just think they're trying to show other crap Doctor Who to say. Look, Doctor Who's always been a bit crap. Yeah, but it's also been a bit good at the same time. Uh, yeah, this uh, the whole thing really didn't work. Maybe I should rewatch re it. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's really not. It's really not getting. I mean, I, you do get Capaldi's performance, but uh, I'm not sure it's really enough for me. Uh, Apocrypha. One of the new features I actually quite like. I mean, do you remember um, the Time Team? Well, it was called Time Team, right? Yeah. And then they got rid of everybody and replaced them with a bunch of kids who uh, half of them end up being perverts. So they had to fire everybody. It was like, that was one of Ben Cook's great, great. Uh, is it Ben Cook? Is the last name? Yeah, but his great contributions. Uh, ben Cook, uh, 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 um, hater of sales. <laughs> but speaking of which, uh, David Richardson from from Big Finish tweeted out this like uh, uh, thing saying, "How people are so stupid to keep voting for Tories." Now, listen, I agree. I I, I really don't have any skin in the game in that. Uh, um, I don't live in England, right? But um, dude, dude, dude. I mean, there's half half your audience. You just called half your audience stupid, right? I understand Ben Cook does that a bit more openly than you, but maybe you... are sales going that well for you, mate? I, I, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing uh, 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 Jodie's done for your sales what 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 she's done for every other Doctor Who sales. Nothing good. What is so? What's this apocryphal? This is from an out. This is from a K9 uh, uh, annual. Okay, fine. Uh, reviews. Uh, once upon a time. Uh, once upon a time, oh god, I have who, Paul Kirkley. I want to see if he can pull anything intelligible out of this again. This is my big bugbear. This looks like every sci fi channel CW pap, right? Every single one, not the timeless classic that is Doctor Who. And again, is this the same, same swarm? Why does he look different there? What's going on? Can you explain some of this? I mean, like, really, maybe make the story a little bit simpler and then you could. Have, but you can't do that because you have to cram it full with everything to people so people wouldn't notice that it's really bad. <laughs> that is a really bad story. Oh, there's Indiana Jazz. Uh, why, why is Dan in the middle of this picture? That is false advertising. It should be Indiana Jazz and the Temple of Cringe. Um. Kate Stewart not looking the, not looking that well, and Vinda going. I'm pretty sure I'm a uh, 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 a Captain Jack replacement. Not buying this. Not interested. Pfft, leave me alone. Right. It's uh, um, yeah, not for me. Stranded three. Piss off. Just piss off. Okay, I'm so pissed off with Stranded. I mean, like, I'm, honestly, uh, whatever her name is. Does, do you have a name written there? Uh, left is. Uh, Nicola Walker. Right, you see Nicola Walker's face? That's my face. Look, li li uh, uh, listening to Stranded. Exactly. Right, exactly. Not exactly a joyous experience. Um, and they got the Jadoon and oh look, good old Lizzie. Hopefully, it's, um, the story that I found unlistenable uh, here on uh, on the Ninth Doctor set, I think, was the Lizzie Hopefully one. Lizzie Hopeless. I think it's more like she's just not very good. Um. Or oh, maybe, maybe she's, I can't remember if uh, she's, you know what, here, here, I'll just look at my phone. I've actually got it. Yeah. Uh, where we go? Big Finish app. Why, by the way, why can't the Big Finish app stream? That really, really freaking annoys me, right? That really annoys me. Yeah, Lizzie, hopefully, the curse of Lady Macbeth. Not good, Lizzie, not good. Uh, they're doing a canine annual, uh, okay. A canine audio annual. I mean, as I said, okay. Um, 
Yeah, no, I'm not getting any of these things. Uh, crossword I can never do, so I don't like it. I don't like things that I'm, that I'm not the best at, right? I never do anything that I'm not the best in room. This I'm looking forward to. They talked me into it. Again, this is part of the Big Finish desperation. This is part of Big Finish saying, yeah, we're sorry we hated white men for so long. <laughs> Go figure. Now, now we have this. You like a bit of Doctor Who, don't we? We've got Cybermen in it and, and Ice Warriors. I know it's all Nick Briggs, but you, you, yeah, we'll be, we'll be good from now. I promise we'll be good. That's certainly the vibe I'm getting, right? Right, certainly the vibe I'm getting for out of this. Um, uh, okay, but there's supposed to be two volumes of this. And then Peladon. Peladon is pure desperation. Peladon is, look, oh, fuck your dick, just buy it. No, 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 no. It's going to be a it's gonna be a load of bollocks uh, 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 with about political extremism. How do I know? You know, you, again, you just said uh, Dave Richardson. Like, with a big Finnish avatar. Uh, tweet out how it is stupid who doesn't agree with him. Yeah, I just don't like that stuff, right? I just don't. I, I, listen, I'm not saying the Tory party are beyond reproach or perfect. Uh, um, I, again, I don't really have much skin away. Boris Johnson seems to be a moron. <laughs> okay, he seems to be a moron who lucked out by having an evil moron run against him and they really didn't like the evil moron. Uh, uh, that will be uh, um, uh, Jeremy Corbyn. And so they did worse than they've ever done before. Tell you, they should have done a bit of that electoral security, fortifying elections they do in America. That would have sorted Corbyn out. A real treat. <laughs> uh, Christmas quiz. Uh, let's see if we can get any of these questions. Uh, the year began with Revolution of the Daleks, which introduced and killed our Prime Minister Joe Patterson. Including Joe Patterson, how many Prime Ministers have we have been seen and heard, and heard in Doctor Who? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it mixed up with James Bond, right? Because uh, in the later, in the eighties, uh, uh, Roger Moore ones, you you did get Margaret Thatcher through a speaker occasionally. So I would. I'm I'm just gonna. This all muddled up in my my in my own muddled muddled up in my own head. The past, present, and future of Doctor Who's digital effects. That's interesting. I I, I was certainly interested in the past stuff. Uh, Beast Below, God, really, they're going for all the, the weakest episodes. Tribute to Bob Baker, uh, Francis White remembers Myth Makers. I mean, I bet you're the only one, darling. Uh, and uh, um, they're trying to get you to buy this. I don't, I don't really know why. I guess they have some some stock left over. And it's Doctor Who Flux. I will use that image. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I will use that image too. More. Do oh yeah, because it came with these posters. Oh man. Uh, uh, and then this squeeze thing, I, I don't really understand. Um, oh, this was like the end because it was, it was a bagged issue. So that they, they put in there. Again, like the dog. So there you go, Doctor Who magazine. Let's let's go through it. It's, it, it. What what on earth would I would I read in this? Okay, let's 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 look at the the page. So no, 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 no. This I would read, but mostly to take the piss out of it. This I'm going to read on a live stream or something. Uh, okay, this I will print out and read. This I wouldn't. This I won't. The collecting thing. Or maybe I would. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll print out the collecting thing. I'll be. Uh, uh, no interest in this interview with uh, Claire. No interest in the this massive article about <laughs> children's TV making a uh a tardis no inch okay yeah no inch and look the things i said i would read are like mild interest right mildly interested mildly interested it, this is this is publishing now you know we, we've reached a state in entertainment in general where we've had nothing but garbage for too long so long nothing's interesting right it's like uh, whatever and i think that's really going to kill the uh, uh uh you know killing things more than anything else uh yeah no not printing out any of this not the reviews might print out the preview i might print out the review of stranded but it might make, make me want to vomit right um yeah i mean go for the thing like six pages maybe i would print out and read on the uh, you know on on sabbath uh yeah as i say yeah, i just i don't think this is a recommend i really i don't it's uh here we go it goes the front cover um look much like doctor who flux uh, uh it's not as bad as it used to be um still not worth it yeah in my opinion not worth it if you think it's worth it uh, uh go check them out go support them listen i got every issue of doctor who magazine i will be sad to see it fold and if it hasn't folded yet 
I think it's got a good chance of making it. I really do. Uh, uh, but who knows or dares to dream. My name is Fila Beck and you are Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe. And ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. Yeah.